for a second, let's go back to the European Union itself. Uh, we can say for North Macedonia and Albania, especially for North Macedonia, they've, they've failed to deliver. Because as we know, the agreement was uh, you resolve the dispute with uh, Greece, change yes. the name and then you enter in yes. NATO automatically yes. and start negotiations with EU. Yes. So now EU failed to deliver, Albania is attached to us, yes. so we have two victims, yes. but also do you think that the damage is even bigger because what, uh, what uh, sign are we sending to, to other countries of the Western Balkans? And yes. What are we saying to Ukraine? Which yes. yesterday on the on the on the summit, uh, Mr. Zelensky, yes. the president of Ukraine, he said that on the EU summit on the 23rd, I'm expecting to be given with the status of a candidate yes. uh, candidate country. So, my question for the European Union, and I, I'm just going to throw this, uh, so you, you, you can answer the question. Uh, last year on press, last year's PRESPA forum, I, I, I've heard your argument with one of the EU ambassadors yes. saying that it was betrayal. Basically, betrayal, yes. yes. And also, you were talking about the, the, the bureaucracy that the EU has. You know, they have the same methods. For example, you compare that with the executive order of Mr. Biden. You yes. said, this is how you act on something. Yes. And you are doing nothing. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, I, I'm going to come to that exactly. We're going to come to this betrayal of North Macedonia in one second. I forgot to mention, because you, you mentioned um, Schultz's visit to, uh, to Belgrade and mutual recognition. Um, uh, just to mention that right here today at Press Forum Dialogue in Okrid, um Prime Minister Brnovich cited what uh, uh, Schultz had said in Belgrade and rejected it. So I just want to uh, make that right here at this very forum uh, an hour or so ago you had uh, again this defiance by Belgrade of Germany most strongest country in the EU. North Macedonia and Bulgaria absolutely what I said last year still holds true and it holds even is even more true because it's number one betrayal of North Macedonia completely because uh, North Macedonia has done everything that you can ask a country to do and I want to emphasize this for your viewers the uh, Prespa agreement was a true compromise Greece made concessions Greece made concessions and you know what is the proof the proof of the concessions that Greece made that that North Macedonia won I'm going to use that word, one, concessions from Greece, that Greece acknowledged uh, Macedonian as a language and Macedonian as the nation. They didn't say, oh, we keep the right to Macedonian because of Macedonia. No, they gave that up. They, they, they conceded that. That exactly. is a big concession from Greece. This was Prespa agreement was, I know it was painful. It was a good agreement. It is a good agreement. It was a true compromise. And here's the proof. The proof is Prespa agreement scared Bulgaria because of that. Bulgaria saw that Greece was acknowledging Macedonian identity. So I'm telling you that is the proof that a Prespa agreement was good. And this is when um, uh, Bulgaria started with this, uh, these games and obviously Borisov had uh, internal political reasons uh, to do these, these games and, and completely departing from friendship agreement, which is the uh, uh, opposite way of dealing with these things, which is to let experts discuss these historical questions and keep them out of politics. And they went in complete different direction. But what's new from last year? We talked about this last year, but what's new this year? There's something new. It's called Russian invasion of Ukraine. And what do we see in Bulgaria today? We see in Bulgaria today, this is what's new from last year, pro-Russian forces led by the president, Radev, Radev. previously done by pro-Russian Prime Minister Borisov, and now still collaborating with Borisov, we see by votes in parliament. In the parliament, there, yes. With pro-Russian, pro-Kremlin groups are now using Macedonian issue in Bulgaria 
to uh, potentially bring down the government. The government that is pro-West and that supports Ukraine, that even is, has done in, in many ways important uh, support for Ukraine. And, and uh, Petkov who wanted to resolve this issue and, and allow his own country to be free of these uh, uh, type of constraints. So that's the uh, Russian.